Hi, my name is Heather Avis. I'm an author and adoptive mom to three kids, Mason, Truly, and August. There's a lot of dance parties, at least one a day. Those are staples in the Avis home. I'm advocating for wholeness and redemption and a full, healthy, happy life for everybody involved, including the women who are choosing adoption plans. All right, one, I take one. The first misconception is adoption is like fun. <laughs> When I started the adoption process with my oldest daughter, it would have been 13 years ago or so. I didn't know anyone who had adopted and I went into it with rose colored glasses that this was gonna be so amazing. And then I've now adopted three kids and um, in those years and in the process of that, just seeing that every adoption starts with brokenness um, and starts from tragedy and there's no way around that. Can every piece be redeemed and restored 100%? Absolutely, there can be healing for everybody, but there can only be healing if we recognize that it needs to take place. The second misconception is it's an easy choice for a woman to choose an adoption plan. And I think that a lot of people think, well, of course it's an easy choice. You have a baby and you choose adoption. Why wouldn't you do that? But then you live your entire life with that. Um, I think it's a misconception that birth moms then just go on with their lives and like nothing happened. It's just not the case. The third misconception is having a birth family involved is a bad idea. I definitely felt that way. I've met a lot of families in adoption who are just hoping to avoid the birth family aspect. We got to meet our son the day he was born and we arrived at the hospital and there we all are in this tiny room and you could just feel the tension. Birth mom and I make eye contact and just start crying. and. Um, I'm sure at that moment for her, it felt really real. It felt very real for me. And then they hand me my baby, who's also her baby. <laughs> and there we all are. Uh, it's super awkward and so good. There's a picture of us when he was getting a diaper change and he's laying on birth mom's bed and you see that it's two different women and a baby and he's holding each of our fingers. And it's just a picture of what it is, like the reality of what it is in the midst of knowing about him and getting to decide to adopt him. I got to know this woman and I got to love her with a love that I didn't know before. It wasn't like a family member. It wasn't like a friend. It was my son's birth mom. I mean, it's her own unique role and I just grew to love her so deeply. Every time we're together, it's super awkward and tense. We don't have to tie a nice, neat bow around it. It's different. It's different and different is good. The fourth misconception is women who are choosing adoption plans are giving their babies up and are harming their child by doing so. To choose an adoption plan, and even in the way that we say it, it's not you're giving your baby up, you're choosing a plan, you're creating an adoption plan. What I've learned over the years is that it doesn't matter how you become a mother, that your motherhood is found in your choice and your desire to step into it fully. A birth mother is choosing to step into her motherhood by choosing an adoption plan because she knows that she's in a space where she's unable to take care of her child. And that is stepping into her role as mom. Birth moms are incredible, incredible humans making really hard choices. So to a prospective birth mom who has an opportunity to choose an adoption plan, I just want you to hear that you are a good mom, that this isn't the thing that will define your entire life, that you have a whole future ahead of you, and that you will be this child's mom in your own ways. Um, you will always be special and important to this person. And it is okay to be in a place right now that this is the choice that you need to make. That is okay. Choosing to be a, a birth mom and choosing an adoption plan for your child can be a really beautiful thing, and you are enough in that space and you don't need to be anything more. You are brave and you are capable and you will be loved and honored and cherished in this world.